So when we first learned that the mom had cancer, I told my sister we were both devastated. We told ourselves that we have to make the best out of it for whatever time she had left here and just be happy around her and uh, continue living the way we had before so that it's not too devastating for her as well to go through the illness. I wish I could stop the time. There's so many things. Like, I wanted to do things with her, uh, take her places with, um, with both my mom and dad. Our, our experience with BC Cancer, I had so many positive energy from them. The, the staff, they're amazing. Um, when my mom had her treatment, everybody was so gracious. They're all so nice. And not only my mom, uh, the same year my mom passed away, my uncle also died. The same cancer. They lost their battle, so I'm riding this epic ride is my way of giving back to them and continuing on their fight for them. It's not an easy task, but for me the ride, it, it's just a very personal thing, but I know it touches a lot of people. When I first did it, it, it just made me so happy to see that there is a chance for those who are still fighting. Uh, for those who are aspiring to ride it, please do. And it's not about the ride, it's not about the 200 kilometers that you are going to go through, but it's just to raise the awareness. This ride is very, very close to my heart and I should really encourage people who had been touched by cancer to just do it because it is really amazing. There's still hope out there and we're gonna battle this fight together with the rest of everybody riding it.